welcome back to P2 Aero and the Yamaha 998 Turbo Sidewinder powered S21 project. Progress has been a bit slow lately as I try and focus in on the details of each individual system. Lately I've been focused on the intercooler, trying to devise a mounting provision as well as airflow routing from the turbo into the intake. While I do have a pretty well outfitted collection of tools, like most of you out there I don't have everything I'd like to have in order to fabricate things. You'll witness me using somewhat untraditional methods to get things done in this video, so go easy on me. Good looking, safe parts is the end goal. How I got there really isn't important, but I wanted to include it in the video anyways. The factory intercooler from Yamaha has two mounting pins or lugs on one end that I wanted to duplicate for the other side. I had some 6061 round bar laying around, so I figured I would use my mill as a lathe and turn up some pins. While not ideal, it worked well, and when it's all said and done, it looks like it could have come that way from the factory. After tack welding those pins on, I moved on to fabbing up the bracket out of some stainless scrap offcuts from another project. This will bridge the engine mount tubes and hold the rubber isolator bushings. I managed to get a bit aggressive with one of them, so I'll have to order another for final assembly when that time comes. Now to trim up the ends and locate the P-clamp holes for hardware.
I'm getting real close to pulling all this back apart for final welding. I've been practicing my aluminum TIG welding in the background, hoping to get up to speed on that soon. For now, I'll just leave it as is and move on until I'm comfortable burning it in for good. I moved up top to wrap up the wire harness on top of the head. I wanted a clean looking harness that was neat and organized, and this is what I came up with. The main harness is wrapped in Flexo NX Aramid sheathing, and I used heat shrink to tie everything together, as well as on the individual short sensor runs. I know this will complicate troubleshooting and servicing later, but since I built the whole harness pretty much from scratch, I can do it again if need be. It turned out pretty slick looking, so I finished it off with a bit of string tie and called it a day. And with that, I'll wrap this one up here. As always, let me know what you think in the comments below. Stay tuned for more as we inch closer to having a running engine. I'll see you on the next one.